Yo, Joe, it's me, Airtight, and I'm here to talk about the G.I. Joe Slam. But before I get started, a little bit about myself. My name's Kurt, and I was born in New Haven, Connecticut. My specialty? Chemical, biological, and radiological warfare. On a personal note, I'm a practical joker. Love to prank. Enough about me, let's get back to the slam. It stands for Strategic Long Range Artillery Machine. One of my favorite vehicles, because for its small size, it packs the most punch. I mean, it comes with its own stabilizing units for the punch, the positioning multi-barreled cannons pack. The slam comes with 10 of its own mini-missiles. A real ugly color, though. They're actually orange to match Outback's hair. No. What do you think, we're toys? I'm joking. The slam seats two, one to drive and one to shoot. It rotates 360 degrees. It even has a tow hook. I told you it packs a punch for its size. The only thing bad I can say about this vehicle is that it offers no cover from fire. The slam was first entered into the G.I. Joe database in 1987 and was discontinued in 1989. The slam appeared in Marvel Comics, G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero, number 59. Cobra alert! Now see for yourself why I love the slam. What the hell's going on here?